greetings, greetings, greetings. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Got a milkshake here. Um, it is day. on the day challenge i didn't drop a video yesterday like these days i've just been not dropping videos i don't know what's going on with me well you know things been like lately things have just been happening nothing bad it's just scheduling it's just been a mess but anyway um yesterday i did drop a song i didn't i didn't post in my community tab and i didn't post a video so people might think i didn't drop a song i did drop a song Everything is on my Instagram. If I'm a, when all when all else fails, check my Instagram. All the songs will always be on there. Um, so I think today's eighty one or eighty two. One of those. Um, link in description if you wanna hear my music. Link in description if you wanna hear my music. My Instagram is on my Instagram handle is in my description. Um. So, yeah. If you want to hear my music, link in the description. The song I made today is called... Um, what is it called? It's called Tit for Tat. <laughs> Get the gas out of my chest. Okay, um, let me just swap on the speakers. Skills, all they got is clouds. All I see is clowns. Why does fucking pussies acting spooky? Sweet like Tootie Fruity. Got a movie, Jesse Nasha. Got the color, ooh, wee, ooh, wee. Little of a woman fell in love like Pocahontas. Whopping on these rappers, man. Alternative is pounds and dollars. Best gon' claim she love me. I don't trust her. A poker promise. Why chase all these bitches? Man, alternative is O's and commas. Tiff a tad. Tiff a tad. Tiff a tad. Tiff for titties, tiff for tap, tiff for tap, tiff for tap, tiff for titties, tiff for tap, tiff for tap, tiff for tap, tiff for titties, tiff for tap, tiff for tap, tiff for tap. On a day, it's just a matter of time, it's not the lottery Take my time on every single track, I'm making pottery But I drop like it's raining and the cape, this gang and not it You win this in the making, I regret this year and I To see who's hot, not me, the pot It steams, I drop some V's like I drop some keys Got these bitches going low like they want help me find them Jesse Nosh and drop it, scorching hot, I'm fucking up the climate to for ten Tip for tap, tip for tap, tip for titties, tip for tap, tip for tap, tip for tap, tip for titties, tip for tap, tip for tap, tip for tap, hey, tip for titties, hey, hey, hey. Tip for tap. 
Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, that'll be out May May twelfth. That'll be out May twelfth. <coughs> There's like a biscuit in here. I don't know if I want it. They like threw a biscuit. They just threw a biscuit in there. Earlier, I had... Oh, what's going on with this light? Come on, do your job. Earlier, I had... Uh, From this place called Sol Slovaki. Huh? So Sovlaki. Or is it Suvlaki? I don't, I don't know if you can see that. So Suvlaki. It's Greek. It's a Greek restaurant. I had this chicken wrap with, with uh, tzatziki. Is that what they call the sauce? The, the, Taste is like yogurt or something, right? I don't know what it is. It's nice. You can choose between hummus, uh, tzatziki. What else is there? There are other options. I just can't remember them. Anyway, oh, I was thinking about. Three gumballs left. Three. There were four the last time I filmed. Now the three. If anyone's following the gumball saga, it was full. It was full. I got these about a month ago, maybe whenever the Super Mario movie came out. That's when I got these. And um, it's taking me a while to finish them. Now the three left. Um, I was just thinking about manifestation, manifesting my dreams, and like this power in words. Your words affect reality, and I, I, I feel like I haven't been very intentional about what I say about my future, my dreams. There's someone I know, a friend that she also makes music and she recently got put in a Spotify editorial playlist. And I heard her like just saying, affirming things about her career and where she wants to go. And I was like, wow, this shit works, man. And she's like just speaking things out into existence. And it's like, fam, like opportunities are opening up. So it's like for me, I was like, okay, I need. To to also be doing that. I mean, I do it, but not, not enough. Not nearly enough. I need to, like, every day, like, intentionally, consciously just be like, I am being placed on playlists. I am. My songs are above 1,000 streams. I am touring. I, am, I have fans. I have, I have, I have. Like, just being intentional about that. I am traveling the world. I am making money off of my music. I have written a novel. The novel is selling well. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I encourage you to do the same. Whatever it is in your life that you want, you need to not like work towards it, but affirm as well. Affirm, affirm the. <clears throat> affirm the thing that you're trying to to achieve like, affirm that like like um one of y'all said you're studying something in science shout out to you it's like that pers whatever end goal you're working towards just be like with your words like I am in this position, like, I have acquired that job, I am in this job. And you say it and you envision yourself doing the work, being in that place, whatever place that may be for you, and like, you're affirming it, you're seeing it. And it combined with your work that you're putting in to get there, you will see things take shape. 
I believe by words this universe was formed and by words we shape reality. That's my genuine belief. I think words are so powerful. Which is why I'm also very careful with what I say in rap sometimes because I think a lot of rappers can be very dark and they talk about killing people and then death a lot. I try to stay away from that. First, like, you know... And I also try to affirm good things about myself. When I find myself writing bad things about myself, I'm like, mm, I should remove that. Because it's a song. It's one thing if you just say it like off the cuff. But when you're, when you're putting it in song form, it's almost like permanent. It's like, because songs get played over and over again. And if you're listening to yourself, saying that to yourself, it's crazy. So I try to be kind to myself in my music. You know, you do have to be real about how you feel but at the same time like yeah you know I, I, I do make sure that overall my attitude towards myself and my my life is positive especially when I'm writing I'm not trying to affirm sadness or depression or anxiety or any of that nonsense over my life I'm trying to be like no I'm doing well I'm healthy I'm in a good space mentally I'm winning if I am going through something, I've I've overcome it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm an overcomer. I, I beat my problems. I, I, they don't preside over me. They don't linger. I, I walk in the light. I'm happy. some jelly beans today I was watching uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 good movie by the way I was I was impressed I, I, I didn't expect much and I walked in expecting very little and I was pleasantly surprised I was like whoa this is actually a very good film oh, rocket story man so touching I wanted to cry at some point Like, I haven't cried in years. It's, it's a thing for me. It's like a thing that I, I'm i constantly going through and, like, trying to see like, what, what what's going to make me cry. Because it's been, it's been a minute since I've just cried. Well, unless, like, I'm chopping onions. Then I, I, I like, uh, the other time I, I chopped so many onions. Red onions. I think red onions are more potent than regular onions. But I was chopping red onions and I was just like, my eyes were streaming. But that's not crying, obviously. Like, that's not like emotional crying. That's just involuntary crying. As part of like, just like a physical reaction to whatever gas the onions be releasing. But anyway, um, I haven't cried like out of like... For, like emotionally I haven't cried emotionally and like I don't even know when I was a kid and I'm trying to find the next thing what's gonna make me it's probably gonna be a movie that, that I don't know if it's gonna be a movie that does it I hope it's not life <laughs> that makes me cry but you know um But Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I came close. I was like, but you know, it, it, with movies, I find myself getting close, but I never quite get over the edge. It never pushes me far enough. I just, I feel it bubbling up like, oh my God, oh my God. And then nothing. Like it, it, it ends here. It never went. It always, I always feel it that I'm like, eh, this is not going to be the one to do it. But I, I was feeling it though. I was like, damn, that's beautiful. The story is amazing. So I appreciated the movie. I recommend you watch it. I think it's good. It's the first, like, good Marvel movie I've seen in a while. The Doctor Strange movie was good. The, the Multiverse of Madness. 
I liked it. I thought it was I thought it was dope. It wasn't amazing, but this I think this is this movie is better than that one. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is definitely better. This is a good movie. Anyway, back to manifestation and shit. Like, I think y'all should be careful about the things you say about yourself, about your life. Like, be very intentional about your words. Don't just throw your words around like they like they're nothing. Because a lot of people say terrible things about themselves constantly. You should get into the habit of of saying positive things about yourself constantly even if you take the manifestation aspect out of it like if you don't believe in that even from a psychological standpoint you're reinforcing terrible ideas about yourself that you start to believe subconsciously and that affects how you behave you act out those like um uh, deep-seated thoughts and feelings about yourself that you've ingrained or in your in you've embedded into your subconscious over time through repetition so if you're like i'm a loser i'm a loser i'm a loser i'm stupid i'm stupid i'm unworthy i'm this i'm that and you're saying that over and over and over and over and over again like that you you, you're reconfiguring your mind to believe that and then you you act that out subconsciously you you just naturally move like a person that's unworthy move like a person that's stupid move like a person that's this that and the third instead you should be saying i'm smart i'm so smart i'm so uh what, what are the other ones i said anyway i'm so smart i'm so likable i'm so pretty I'm good to be around. People like my company. I'm I'm trustworthy. I'm dependable. I have my life together. I'm working hard. I'm I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. And you say these things about yourself over and over again, every day, day in and out, and you never stop. And when you catch yourself thinking negative thoughts about yourself, it's okay. Just re- just in that moment correct yourself. Be like, no, no, I am a smart person i i am a, a a positive person i am a loving person i am worthy of being loved i'm worthy in general to be alive to take up space on this earth i'm worthy 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 uh yeah and it'll that sort of thinking will take you far man This year I'm trying to be like There's still a lot of the year left I'm trying to maximize the potential of the year I want this to be a big year for me I want this to be This is a big year for me This is a highly successful year for me This is a a year of learning And applying learning And succeeding and, and, And doors opening That I never thought would open and unexpected joys, unexpected pleasure, unexpected excitement, unexpected triumph. And expected triumph, expected joy, expected pleasure. Uh, it's a year of love. It's a year of awakening. It's a year of enlightenment. It's a year of winning. Do the same, man. Profess these things over your life. And you'll see things change, I promise you. Work hard too, of course. But yeah, you have to make sure your beliefs align with what you're working towards. It's very crucial. <clears throat> I need to pray and then get out of here. I love to pray at the end of all my videos to impart blessing. And yeah, just to put God's hand over your life. So they can guide you along and, and establish everything you're trying to do. 
It's okay if you don't believe in prayer. You can think of it as nice words, positive affirmations. If you can accept the words graciously. Here we go, you. Dear God, I thank you for the individual watching this video. I thank you for the individual watching this video. I thank you for blessing them and making them unique and making them kind. And that you've fulfilled their heart and their heart's desires. I thank you that everything they want has been granted to them, Lord. They have all that they need, all that they want. I thank you that you're taking care of them. I thank you that you're establishing their path, guiding them down, down a righteous path towards the light. That they are happy, that they are at peace, their heart is at peace, their heart is happy. And they are just, they just aware of the happiness, aware of that joy and peace in their heart. Thank you that you've eased their heart, you've eased their circumstances. I thank you that you've blessed them with good health and long life and happiness. Good health, long life, happiness over them, over their friends, over their family. I pray for healing and I pray for blessing over their family. Healing and blessing over their family. In your mighty name I pray. In your mighty name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> oh, what more is it to say? Bye.